Hello everyone, welcome back to the next video of Google Apps Script Tutorial course and in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a custom sidebar on your Google Sheets. So sidebar will show here, so just to show you, it will show like this and if you see in my previous video we have discussed about that tools pop up window, it will go like this, it will show you a small notification and you can set some text to this tools pop up but this custom sidebar has more future than those pop up because in custom sidebar you can embed your html source code on this custom sidebar and you can also show some random text to this custom sidebar so the future and the advantage of the custom sidebar is more when compared to those pop up so if you haven't seen those pop up you can check out the video in my playlist so let's see how to create a custom sidebar now go to tools and script editor so uh, we have some functions here and menu item 1 item 2 this is related to custom menu so in the last video we have seen how to create a custom menu what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign this custom sidebar pop-up to menu item 1 so let's see how first we have to create a function for sidebar so just start a function and give any name as so I'll give sidebar as a function name so as I said, this sidebar can show HTML value. So Google Apps Script itself has a provision to add HTML file. So let me create an object HTML. I'm going to create a simple HTML file. Go to File, New, and HTML. So just give the name of the file as sidebar. Click on OK. So it will create a default template for this html with the head tag and body tag along with the html tag and you can just add feature to this for example what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to add a header tag let's name this as my header for paragraph So you can put the subheadings in h2 h3 tag so if you don't know about html you can check out the w3 school it's not a complex language it's just a syntax like language you can learn within an hour so i have created a sidebar html and i'm going to assign this sidebar html to my html object that i've created here So here you have to use a class HTML service and you can see a method create template from sorry create HTML output from a file. So this method will create HTML from the file location that you have to give and my HTML file name is sidebar so I am giving a name here it's sidebar it should be case sensitive so you have to give as you have given in this html file the name of side and this b is cap so you have to give as it is and if you want you can set some specification to this html so I, i'm going to set my html title as my favorite sidebar so now to create a sidebar, I have to use the UI method as we have used to create a custom sidebar. I have to use a spreadsheet tab and get UI. So I have created an object get UI here. So with the help of this object, I can create a sidebar. You can find a method show sidebar and this sidebar accept object. So I'm going to pass my HTML object to this sidebar. So now we have successfully created the show sidebar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to map this function to my menu item 1 here. So when user click on this my menu and my menu item 1, it will go and call this sidebar function. But this function was present in on open, so we have to reload the file again. 
so now this file is successfully reloaded and I can able to see my custom menu if I click on this menu item one it's running the script and here is my sidebar with the title my favorite sidebar and with my header h1 and h2 tag and my title uh, and copy or embed your youtube video and put it on the sidebar so this is how you can use sidebar in google feed thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye